don't forget to subscribe for more reviews. Please also like. Thank you. Hello there everyone, Tom here again, and today we have the privilege of taking a look at the Bad Cube Piper. This is their version of pipes. Now I've wanted this figure for a very long time. Uh, it, it came on sale, I bought it from, uh, I think it was Show Z, and yeah, uh, front of the box, side of the box, back of the box, side of the box, top, bottom. Let's open her up. I know this is an old mold. Uh, I already know this, but I think it's important for us to actually review the reissues to see if there's anything like mold degradation or, you know, these types of things so that you can make an educated decision about whether or not you want this. Is that what I think it is? That looks like an eye to Metroplex. And he comes with a couple of different faces. So, interesting. All right, setting all that aside. Here is the figure right out of the box. Plugging the mirrors in. All right, so this, is, this figure should do the NP-10 trailer I don't have it handy, so we're just going to conclude that it can because it looks like it's got the right hookups. All right, so we get the figure. He rolls. What all's in the bag here? We get apparently two collector cards. Okay, that's fine. We get instructions. Does he not have weapons? Yep, it shows him being able to pull the the cab there. Interesting. Interesting. No, apparently he does not come with weapons. Uh, maybe that's a transforming cog. I don't know. Let's see here. Instructions. Uh, we're up to 23. And so it looks like it's going to transform in about 23 moves. All right, okay, well, I can dig that. Uh, I will say, uh, it, it's got a little heft to it, so that's a good thing. <clears throat> uh, it's not, you just saw me pull it out of the box, so yeah. Uh, we have some, I do like the translucent, but there's not a seat in here at all. It uh, doesn't look like the doors are going to open. I like the silver. That's what it looks like on the bottom. There's some die cast in this, and it's it's in these feet right here. So i tell you what. Uh, let's do scale comparison in this mode, and then we will uh, transform it and go from there. Transforming old Piper here really isn't all that complex. Uh, we pop these windshield, uh, these rear view mirrors off. They're on ball pegs. We take, this is connected here. We unplug this and swing it down. Plug this, swing it down. This gives us the opportunity at this point to open up the cab and just kind of swing it out of the way. We're going to come back here and these panels right here. We're going to swing them out like this, so you can see over and out, just like that. The cab, I, I guess we can go ahead and bring down the arms. They're just on this hinge at this point, okay? 
These bits right here are going to plug in right here. Additionally, there are pins right here that are going to plug into these little slots right here. So, I'm not quite ready for that. Open the cab part up, swing these inside. Okay, swing these inside just to get them out of the way because we won't need them in robot mode. Close your cab back up, bring this around, and if you remember where I said everything fit together, you'll just snap into place. Take your finger back here and just connect these bits. You, you kind of have to do that so that you have something to push off of so that it will line up properly and go in. It's hard to see on camera, but that's, that's what you want right there. So, take his arms, rotate them the proper way, and then we just fold this back and this in. Back and in. And there's his upper body. Yep, I'm just going to make sure those are connected there. Alright, now, for the legs. First thing we want to do is we want to disconnect this section right here just by pulling up on it. It's connected with this port and that pin on both sides. Okay. Now we should be able to separate the legs just like this. They connect here and here. Take this bit, push it down. This is your foot and this is where the die cast is. So open this up. It's on a, a hinge to a ball peg. Open that up. Slide that in. Push this down. Close that over. And extend your heel spur. And that's his leg. So let's do that again. Push this over. Pull out the foot from this cavity. Again, it's on a, uh, it's on a mechanism. I don't know if you all can see that or not. Extend the heel spur. Just flatten it down. Take this bit go in, this over, and that out. And that represents old Piper's transformation here. Let's uh, zoom out just a tinch more. This is Piper. Uh, he definitely benefits from the die cast in his feet. It provides him with a very stable foundation upon which to stand. Speaking of, he is coming in to the top of the trailer here, just shy of six inches. Shoulder to shoulder, we're looking at about two and a quarter to the tires, uh, about three and a half. Depth-wise, this is where this figure suffers, uh, about four inches. So, articulation, the head can look left and right. It can go all the way up that far not really anything down. The arms are on this uh, ball peg right here. You can go around until you hit the cab and back until you hit the cab. Then go out. It, well, you don't want to disconnect your thing. So, let's see here. We need to, we need to stop when we're about to disconnect. So, a uh, little bit better than 90 degrees. Elbow, 90 degrees. The wrist, <clears throat> typewriter fingers on a base pin knuckle. They look like they should rotate. They do rotate, okay? So yes, they do rotate. Waist swivel, no problem. No ab crunch, but he does bend at the hips and he gets a good solid range at the hips. Speaking of, he can do the American splits just fine. Out to the side. He's on some type of universal, looks like. He can definitely do the Chinese splits, no problem. Thigh rotation. It's built around the mushroom peg. You might be able to see right there. Knee bend, single hinge. And I mean just barely shy of 90. The feet, they're on this ball peg, so you get a good rocker. Uh, you get forward and back. So yeah, the articulation is here without problem, without fail. 
and he is a little back heavy because of the the entirety of the cab hanging off of him however the way that the die cast here in the feet work i think i've mentioned works just fine to maintain his balance so let's what do you say we go ahead and do scale comparison and then we will do final thoughts the transforming cog yeet okay um final thoughts wise let's talk about the figure for a second uh the playability on this is okay it's not the greatest thing ever was but it is okay uh the materials feel good uh this this feels fragile uh, it doesn't connect well but aside from that everything else feels fine uh, the joints are, are tight enough so that you can do what you need to. They're loose enough so that they don't feel like they're going to break or give you the fan's toy squeak. The accessories that you get with it, you get two additional faces and this transforming cog thing, which in the promotional pictures, it shows him holding underneath his arm. And I have to tell you, let me see if I can find it here real quick. Okay. So in the promotional pictures, it shows him holding it under his arm. I cannot seem to replicate that. I'm sure there's a way, but with with his articulation being what it is, uh, I can't seem to make it work. So that's a problem. This is basically useless. Uh, but again, it's it's that scene. It's that thing from that one scene in that one episode. And okay. The cost of this, if memory serves, this thing was $55 from Show Z. I bought both that and uh, Huffer, their Huffer. That's fine. This is great for this. Uh, the the old this is old tech, right? And I, I know we are looking at our limited articulation. However, however, saying that this does fine it does exactly what it's supposed to do which is when he's facing the front of, of the shelf he's going to look like pipes and like skullface used to say i don't i don't show mine from the back anyway so i think it's fine i, I think it's fine especially for the price uh, if you're looking for discount uh discount masterpiece transformers this is a good option good option I don't know what the fans toys uh, huffers running for honestly I don't care uh, these will be just fine transformers on a budget recommend it absolutely if this was my first one I'd continue buying more like I said I, I bought the other reissue so I haven't noticed any mold degradation on this and I think that's a good thing so I believe you're gonna get a quality figure results vary right we know this but but the figure that I have is just fine for what it is and I am pleased with my purchase I can recommend it and just just perspective right because I do this $25 freaking $50 this, like I said, this was 55 or 60. It was one or the other. Best value out of all three. This is Tom. Thanks for watching. I'll see you at the next review. Thank you for watching my Papa's channel. Please subscribe and like. Thank you. Vita John will make you a stronger person, robot, whatever. I don't care if you're Autobot, Decepticon, Predacon, 
Maximo, Gobot, uh, what else is there? I don't know. I don't care. Whatever you are, you want, I sell to you. Hey, can that stuff make me better? What do you mean? Just look at me. Uh, can that stuff turn me back into the prime I used to be? Vitamin John can turn you into anything. I'll take some. Okay. Nom 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 nom. Poof. Another satisfied customer. The hell did you do to me? What? I'm not good. Why do I look like Optimus? Ah, spinster!